The wife's been talking to me recently about uh, needing to get some type of a key rack for the house. And in keeping with you know, my new hobbies, I am going to attempt to make one out of a candle holder. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to chop these off and then I'm going to have to chop off the edges as you guys can see in this picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and grind them down and see what I can get done. Now that I'm done using the hacksaw to reacquaint myself with Armstrong powered tools, I'm gonna go ahead and got these two removed off the sides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of these right here, the little actual candle stands. And I'm going to be doing that with a Dremel tool just for speed and efficiency since we do still, you know, have power. We don't, you know, earthquake didn't hit or, you know, if you know you live in Alaska, you got a snowstorm that sweeps and stuff like that. That's why I want to be able to continue to use those tools, is so that I have the ability to do that stuff with little or no power. Or if I'm having to ration my power off of you know solar panels or a gas-powered generator while we wait for you know the infrastructure to kick back on, it's one of those things that if a lot of people during Katrina or Sandy would have had these skills, their lives would have been significantly easier.